some, some footage of you, actually, some behind-the-scenes footage. <laughs> was it everything that you expected? Was it more? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that I kind of came in with the perception of uh, motion capture, which I think a lot of people do when, when you tell them a performance capture of like, oh, you're just going to do a voiceover and then show up and walk around with the, in the suit with some balls on it or whatever, and that's, yeah. And then it turns out it's actually much, much, much more in-depth, and uh, you're able to really pick up um, uh, very subtle uh, changes in, in emotion and in movement and body and, and create a performance that's really nuanced and, um, and detailed, you know, if, if, if the performance is there. Um, so being able to explore and only really be limited by imagination when you're in a digital space meant that we were kind of these kids playing in our big sandbox and uh, it, we got to uh, do something that I think that we're all really proud of. I see too, and I, I watch this action footage here of you wielding a lightsaber. That's so cool. But it reminds me, uh, Vince, of something you said. It, just the sort of fluidity of your motion here reminds me of your gameplay comment about the importance of feel in, in respawn games. Uh, after all, that's, that's, how, that's what we're doing, we're playing. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, it's one of the pillars of what we do at respawn, right? It's, uh, the game has to feel good. We're making interactive entertainment. So. The, the feel, the touch, the, the, the way things interact in the game is just so important. And, you know, like Stig and I are synced up on that. And, you know, if you've played his games, you, you know that. Um, so it was just a natural fit to, to bring that feel from the first person into the third person now, where it's even more important because that, that thoughtful combat, that melee that has to connect and feel right and look good. And it, it, it's just something that we